This particular work was a gift from the estate of a New York artist, uh, John Higley. Higley was a, um, was a student of the uh, thinker and inventor, Buckminster Fuller. And Higley had a, a lifelong interest and passion for transformational geometry and mathematics. But the work that we have here, which is entitled uh, Three Acosahedrons, he looks at some of the theories that have come from Plato relative to his five platonic solids. And so what we have here is um, essentially uh, an icosahedron has what we would call 20 faces. And if you were to look at this, you see three icosahedrons, but each of these icosahedrons, if you were to count the actual faces, you would find 20 of them. From a classical perspective, the Greeks would look at what they call the, the elements or the elements of earth, water, air, etc. And so the icosahedron of 20 faces, this was actually said to be symbolic of, a, of water. What's so very interesting to me, in addition to the colors, is the fact that one of the greatest things that we have taken place now one of the greatest human needs that we are dealing with now, particularly in the United States, is actually water. And it's something that we need for life. You know, three-fourths of our land mass of the earth is water. And so water is a very, very important element. But in looking at this, so in this particular work, we have geometry. We also have life sciences. We have environmental sciences. We have color, et cetera. So this is actually a very, very intriguing work. And um, relative to Plato, um, relative to geometry and mathematics and color and the environment. And I think the more that I look at this work, and not only do you see the icosahedron in the, on the color surfaces, but also if you stand back and you look at the greater work, you will also see the icosahedron here within the white plains of this particular painting.